the function y equal to 10x does not have an inverse because it is undefined for odd multiples of pi over 2. If we restrict the domain between strictly between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, we obtain a function that is increasing from left to right and is 1 to 1. That function is y equal to arc 10x, where x is between negative infinity and infinity. And the range y is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Find the exact value of arc 10, 1 or inverse 10, 1. Now, our reference triangle will be the 1, 1 square root of 2 triangle and pi over 4 is the reference angle. The arc whose tangent is 1 is pi over 4. The B calls for the arc whose tangent is negative square root of 3. Our reference triangle will be the 1, 2 square root of 3 triangle and the arc whose tangent is square root of 3 will be pi over 3. Tangent pi over 3 is square root of 3 opposite over 1. However, we need negative square root of 3 over 1. And that arc, that arc must be located between, strictly between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Therefore, we are going to go clockwise from 0 and take the arc negative pi over 3. And that's in the fourth quadrant, tangent is negative. So the arc whose tangent is negative square root of 3 is equal to negative pi over 3. C calls for the arc whose tangent is 0. The arc whose tangent is 0 between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Tangent is sine over cosine and sine is equal to 0 at 0 and cosine is equal to 1. Therefore, the arc whose tangent is equal to 0 is 0 degrees. The arc whose tangent is 0 is 0 degrees. Inverse tangent of negative square root of 3 over 3. For this problem, we are looking for an arc whose tangent is negative square root of 3 over 3. From the 1, 2 square root of 3 reference triangle, pi over 6 has a tangent of 1 over square root of 3. So the reference angle theta prime is equal to pi over 6 because the tangent of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 3. We just need a sign correction. We don't have the negative sign. Now, we do need to find the arc whose tangent is negative square root of 3 over 3. We know that pi over 6, our reference angle, is located in the first quadrant. Now, and it's the reference angle. Now, from 0, we're going to go clockwise and take negative pi.
pi over 6 as our angle because negative pi over 6 is located between pi over 2, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And it is the arc whose tangent is negative square root of 3 over 3. Find the exact value of inverse tangent square root of 3. We're looking for the arc whose tangent is square root of 3 from the 1, 2 square root of 3 reference triangle. Pi over 3 is the arc whose tangent is square root of 3 over 1, therefore square root of 3. And pi over 3 is in the first quadrant. Therefore, the arc whose tangent is equal to square root of 3 will be pi over 3. Now we call that pi over 3 is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 strictly. So this is the correct answer. For 2, we're looking for the arc whose tangent is negative 1. The reference angle will be found from the reference triangle 1, 1, square root of 3. And that tangent is the tangent of pi over 4. The tangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, pi over 4 is the reference angle. Now, the inverse tangent of negative 1, since pi over 4 is located in the first quadrant, will be located in the fourth quadrant, and we have to go clockwise. So the arc whose inverse tangent is negative 1 is negative pi over 4. When taking the composite function, 10 of inverse 10 of x, x, the domain, can be any real number. Because 4.7 is a real number, 10 of the inverse 10 of 4.71 is equal to 4.71. Similarly, 27.12 is a real number, therefore the 10 of the octane, the octane means the same thing, the inverse 10 of 27.12 is equal to 